What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bird, man. We back on Bird's Eye View. Like always, appreciate the love and support. Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the content. Uh, we trying to grow this channel. Like I said, as far as we possibly can do it, uh, I think we're pushing 700 subscribers now, so we got to keep this train rolling. You know, I'm going to keep this banging content going for y'all. Uh, we have some great news out of the day. Of course, we know about Kermani McClain. Uh, the number one DB in the country, number two overall player in the nation. He was previously, of course, committed to the University of Miami. He's been committed to Miami for months. Of course, news broke about Miami's coaching staff going to Lakeland High School. He wasn't present on Friday. Uh, of course, news circulated about him being in Boulder, Colorado on a visit. Now it is official. Carmani McLean has officially committed to Colorado. He is now going to be a Buffalo. He's going to be a part of that program. That is a major piece that you guys have added to that puzzle. Pairing him alongside Travis. I mean, that DB room is going to be really, really good. You have the Arkansas safety coming in. You have Cam transferring in from Jackson State. Shiloh transferring in from Jackson State. I mean, it's going to be phenomenal what they're going to be able to do. Of course, I expect Carmani to come in and play right away. Uh, of course, he's going to have to earn it. He's going to have to work. But, I mean, the number one DB in the country, 6'2", you know, about a buck seventy coming in um, with, a, with a tremendous skill set. Uh, it's it's going to be hard to keep him off the field. And, uh, of course, you know, we're going to be looking forward to seeing, you know, the production that Colorado can have this season. Of course, we're all expecting them to have a better year than last year. Of course, they went one, and, you know, one and eleven last year, only winning one game. So, of course, we we definitely expect them to win a lot more than one game for sure. Um, can they be bowl eligible? Can they get to that six game mark? I think so. I honestly do. I honestly think they can at least win six games. I really truly believe that with the talent that they're stockpiling right now in Boulder on the offensive and defensive side of the ball. You're talking about bringing in a quarterback, you know, bringing in multiple running backs, you know, multiple offensive linemen, defensive linemen. Man, you're bringing in guys, you know, that can really come in and play right away. You're building strength in the trenches where it all starts. I mean, especially at the power five level, trench play is the most impactful position and most impactful group just for the simple fact that the teams that dominate in the trenches, those are the teams that win at that power five level. So, uh, you know, being able to, to, to bring in some comparable guys, uh, it's, it's going to be phenomenal to see what they're going to be able to do at that Colorado program. So um, I plan on coming to a game for sure. Uh, so Colorado fans, if you're watching, you, it's a possibility, a strong possibility that you could definitely see me at some point at a Colorado football game this season. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, looking forward to meeting some of you guys. And it's going to be, you know, it's going to be a great atmosphere. So uh, I'm not going to keep you long. Uh, please continue to like comment and subscribe share the content you know what time it is birds eye view